Hey, I'm Brent Ayler with Lucky Craft, and let me give you a little history on the Pointer Minnow. Pointer is what brought Lucky Craft to market in the United States. I remember this distinctly because I was just getting into tournament bass fishing. It was back maybe 1998, Elephant Butte Reservoir. It was a Western Invitational bass event. The guy ended up winning the tournament on a pointer minnow. And it was one of those things that if you did not have a pointer, a Lucky Craft jerkbait, you were not catching any fish. It was that specific. Really, Lucky Craft revolutionized the entire jerkbait industry by developing the pointer minnow and several other jerk baits early on in the stages of Lucky Craft bait. So in front of me are two different sizes, two of the original sizes that Lucky Craft came out with. There's the pointer 78 and there's the pointer 100. These are two of the original baits. In fact, this color, Aurora Black, is one of the very first colors that I ever placed my hands on and made cast with, was with the Aurora Black and the Pointer 100. This thing was as good as gold because it was so hard to get and the fish loved it. And today, they still love this bait. And you know, here we are 20 some odd years later and it's still a very, very popular bait. So a couple specifics about Pointer Minnow series. Let's go through the entire series of baits, family of baits, sizes of baits, and what's unique about some of these baits. So first off, let's talk about the Pointer 78. The Pointer 78 is gonna be a great pre-spawn bait. The reason for pre-spawn is it's a silent bait. It's very subtle. It does not have a lot of sound and vibration that could shock those fish into not biting. You know, it's also a bait that's gonna be very good in calm conditions because it's silent. That's what's so great about the Pointer 78. The other thing that's really good about the Pointer 78 is it matches the hatch. So if you look at these two baits, it's a pretty drastic difference in size. So think about matching that hatch when the bait is smaller or when the fish are pressured. When the fish are pressured, they like smaller, more finessey baits. That's where you're gonna go with that pointer 78. Stealth approach is, is a big deal in the spring and therefore that silent one is very good for something like that. So you have that combination of silent, not as loud, not as aggressive, but also the size as well. So smaller size, that's also less aggressive. That's the whole point with the Pointer 78. Now, later on, they came out with the 78DD that has a deeper diving bill. So it's gonna go deeper than the standard Pointer 78 minnow, DD and standard. So there's gonna be two different depth ranges. So if you're fishing in deeper water, you're gonna to wanna to throw that Pointer 78 DD. That's gonna get down a little bit deeper. Same thing, the spring, pre-spawn. Maybe it's calm outside. It's not very bright, sunny skies. It's not windy, it's not rainy, it's not nasty. You're gonna want something that's very subtle, but the fish are deeper, so you're gonna go with that Pointer 78 DD just to get down deeper. Both have a very good action. They get down deep, they have a more of a wobble to the bait when you're twitching it. So when you twitch it, it has this hard wobble and the side-to-side -side action. So that's what the Pointer 78 does. Now, the Pointer 100 is gonna be that little bit louder bait. It's good for casting. You can cast it a really long ways. It's gonna be good for post-spawn. Reason for post-spawn, those fish are more aggressive. They're chasing baits down. You want something that's gonna be louder and more aggressive out there. It's also a match the hatch. You can have a bigger bait to match that bigger shad. So if you're in a scenario where the bait is quite a bit bigger in a lake, you're gonna wanna go with that Pointer 100, give them a bigger size. Same thing action-wise with the Pointer 100 as the Pointer 78. Every time you twitch this bait, it's going to have a side wobble to it as well as a good side-to-side -side action. That's the, the unique thing about the Lake Craft Jerk Baits is they have a really effective side-to-side -side erratic action. That's what triggers those strikes. So now you have that bigger bait. It's louder, great for post-spawn, the fish are aggressive, they're chasing bait more, they're on bigger bait, maybe the water's stained a little bit, you're gonna wanna go with that rattle. Same thing with the size. I don't care if the bait's small, if the water's stained, you're gonna want a bigger bait, the fish can find it better. So bigger bait, loud, if it's raining or windy, adverse conditions, you always want a rattle, so go with that Pointer 100. Now, just like the Pointer 78, we have the Pointer 100 DD. Two things about the Pointer 100 and 100 DD, they go deeper than a lot of other jerk baits on the market. Instead of going that standard kind of four to five foot zone that a lot of jerk baits run, the standard 100 is gonna be that five plus, it's gonna be that five to seven foot. Now, 
When you're fishing for fish that are suspended and a little bit deeper, the odds of them biting are better when they don't have to run as far. So if a fish is sitting in 15 feet, they're more likely to bite a bait that's in seven versus a bait that's in four. They just don't have to travel as far. A lot of times the farther they travel, the more they get a look at it and they know that it's not a real bait and they don't want to bite it. So you want to get it as close to those fish as possible. So the Pointer 100 is going to get in that five plus zone. Now, I have fished thousands of jerk baits over the years in bass fishing. I've never seen a jerk bait get as deep as the Pointer 100 DD. This is a very effective bait for when the fish are deeper. When you need to get it down to those fish, think about that Pointer 100. This thing will get down to you on fairly light line and a long cast, which you can do with this big heavier bait. I can get that bait easily down to 10, 10 plus feet deep. I've had it in some scenarios where I feel like that bait's getting closer to that 12 foot depth zone, which is very deep for a jerk bait. So between these jerk baits right here, you can go anywhere in the country, catch a lot of fish, multiple different options just with two different baits. The Pointer 78 and Pointer 100 match those conditions that you want fish these things year round, you will catch more fish. You know, Lucky Craft has a lot of different colors in all their baits, especially in the Pointer Series. Let's kind of try and look at the Pointer Series and kind of try and figure out a good game plan for the different colors we're gonna throw in the different situations. It's not just to go out and get one color and that's gonna work every day out there on the water. They make different colors for different reasons. They try to match the hatch for different forage fish. Also conditions, weather conditions, water clarity. You know, there's so many reasons for having these different colors. It's not just to have flashy colors out there. They are designed for a specific scenario. So let's start with kind of the louder baits. The baits are a little bit brighter. Anytime you have a chrome series, that's Aurora Black, American Shad, something that it's not an opaque, it's not a see-through color has a lot of flash to it. These are the colors I'm gonna throw on those adverse days, the days that are overcast. Overcast, wind, rain, anytime you want more flash, anything to pick up more color, it's gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Now I say aggressive, that's compared to a ghost minnow that's gonna be more opaque and more clear. So having that Aurora Black or American Shad is great in those conditions where they're just lower light. You know, a lot of times I've had tournaments where I'm catching them on a jerk bait, that's all I'm throwing all day. I'm gonna have three colors on. If I'm catching them on the Pointer 100, I'm gonna have three colors on. One's gonna be American Shad or Aurora Black. That's the one I'm gonna throw first thing in the morning. You know, I'll throw that until nine o'clock in the morning until that sun starts getting up and higher. When the sun gets up and higher, that's when I'm gonna go to that ghost minnow color. That's where those bright, clear, sunny days go with the clearer colors, the colors that are more opaque. Ghost Minnow is another one. Ghost Minnow with a silver cheek is a great transition between these two. And the reason I say transition, this has that real silvery side to it. This one is opaque, fairly clear, but it has some flash on it. On the head, it has that kind of that gill flash along with a fin that has this very similar flash to it, that kind of inside of the abalone shell that's that very mirrored image kind of flashy color. There's just a little highlight, just a little touch on there that's gonna add a neat little combination between these two baits. And that's called the silver cheek. Let's go to some of the whiter colors. This right here is a pearl thread fin, which is one of my favorite all-time colors across the board, whether it's in the pointer series or if it's a crankbait color, the pearl thread fin is gonna be a great low light condition, kind of like the Aurora Black, stained water. I like these two colors, chartreuse shad and pearl thread fin. Chartreuse shad is another one of my favorite colors. I like these colors when the water is stained more. When the water is stained, I think you want a color that's gonna glow, it has a little bit more pop in stained water. So it's gonna have a little bit more white in it. So pearl thread fin, Structure Shad, great colors for stained water. These are also colors you can throw in every condition. It's a good all around bait. You can throw you know, the Chartreuse Shad in adverse conditions. You can throw it in rain, wind, you can throw it in the sun, you can throw it in dirty water. You can throw it in clear water, bright sun, but I still like that Ghost Minnow because it's gonna be a little bit more opaque, a little bit more see-through, not as loud. So those are kind of the Really good shad combinations on when to throw them versus the weather conditions, water color. Those really highlight those conditions. Now, the outside all ball 
is going to be any kind of a perch or a bluegill color. This is a BE gill. This is a color that I designed for Lucky Craft. To me, it is the best bluegill color out there. If the fish are any anytime around the spawn, they hate bluegill with a passion. That's the public enemy number one to a bass in the spring is a bluegill. So anytime I'm around the actual spawn, I like that BE gill. Now, the great thing about BE gill is it's not just a bluegill imitation. Anytime you get up in the northern lakes with small mouth, large mouth, both, they have a lot of perch in the lake. This is gonna mimic a perch. The fish heavily feed on perch in the northern lakes. That might be their only forage up there. And you know, a lot of times there's small mouth live their entire life eating two things, perch and crawdads. So if you're gonna match that perch color, go with that BE gill. So we have all our shad colors. Now we have that blue gill and, and perch color and that BE gill. You've got every color you could possibly think of right here in that pointer family. Now another kind of line of the pointer series are the big ones, the big 128, 158 jerk baits. These things right here are big baits. This is not one of those small little pointer 78s that for those high pressured fish. This is something that's a loud rattle, a big bait, makes a lot of noise. Great in situations where it's post spawn, the fish are a little bit more active, they want something a little bit louder. Maybe they have to travel a little bit farther. One other thing is clear water. Sometimes I like a bigger bait in clear water just for the fact that they see it from farther away. They travel farther just to come and get a bigger jerk bait like this. Also very good in stained water. The 128 is a very good stained water bait. It has a lot of vibration, a lot of sound. It has that true to form pointer series wobble to it when it twitches plus the side to side action. This bait right here, the 128, a good buddy of mine, John Murray, won a tournament at Toledo Bend and he actually got me onto this bait. He said that he was catching some on it and he ended up winning the tournament. I tied it on, I caught quite a few fish on it and cashed a really good check, almost made the top 10. I was just outside the top 10 and caught a lot of them on the pointer 128. That right there was not really a bait that I was gonna throw, but Toledo Bend has a lot of big fish in it. They have a lot of bait. They have a lot of gizzard shad. That's a good bait to match the hatch. The fish were in a post-spawn scenario. They were not all the way out on the deep ledges quite yet. They were in that transition of spawning to getting out to those kind of summertime situations. They're in that in-between post-spawn before they go into the summer. Perfect scenario for throwing, you know, that 100 series, the 128, the 158, a little bit bigger bait with a little bit more noise, an excellent option for that post-spawn fishing technique.